with a little less wind and a little more sun, <laughs> a little more heat. Um, and while I was writing, a, a song uh, came to me, so I wrote it down uh, to share today. And, and it kind of celebrated the simple things uh, that, that I'll always remember of Pat, uh, John, uh, Cindy, uh, Janice, uh, and to your families, these are my memories. Maybe a little bit of a gap filler, John, when you're kind of like, you know, when you fill the hole there. Um, Pat will chuckle at this because as I was getting ready and I was looking at how do you talk at service, it said, never read a poem in a eulogy. I thought, oops. I guess writing a poem is even worse. That's like a double oops. And the only blessing here is I'm not going to sing and I'm not going to play my ukulele, um, <laughs> which, which Pat helped me pick out in Hawaiian. In, and encourage me to play. You know, I think the two songs I got good at, we got a lot of fun with. So, uh, with uh, some apology to Rogers and Hammerstein and uh, not having the voice of Julie Andrews, uh, I think Pat would get a kick out of these special and uh, funny memories to, to the sound of music's uh, uh, raindrops on roses. And uh, so we didn't say Pat also loved flappers. So, uh, I won't sing it, I'll read it, see how I do. Uh, raindrops on roses, houses with kittens, Pat snuggled with John on a sled with her mittens. A beautiful picture of them next to a tree. These are a few of the favorite memories for me. And in half of our children, she watched them both grow. Birthdays and Christmas, their highs and their lows. Beautiful points met our granddaughters too. This is the path we were both glad we knew. Don, Duchess, and Mac with Pat at the stables, playing pinochle cards as we sat around the table, smiling so broad when I called her Debbie. These are a few of my favorite memories for me. I'll skip the refrain, but uh, no, I'll say it anyway. So, when, when my life's tight on a long night, when I'm feeling sad, I'll cherish Pat in these memories, and then I won't feel so bad. Cindy, John Roy, Lorraine and me, eating fresh lobsters in a house by the sea. Laughing so loud when we all tried to sing. These are a few of my favorite things. Share your joy at the birth of a whole. Knowing great pies are food for the soul. Nipping a scotch, telling stories at night, made all of the births in life feel more like Pat rides on great horses in heaven above. Sunshine and great pastures will show us your love. As we watch a long winter melt into spring, I will remember these favorite things. So when my life's tight on a long night, when I'm feeling sad, I'll cherish Pat in these memories, and then I won't feel so bad. Thanks, everyone. Hi, my name's Carl Gomenzi. Uh, I have actually known John since before he came to Boise. We were both in college up at Washington State. I uh, really didn't think I'd ever see him again when he graduated and left, left town. But then uh, it turned out that I ended up getting a job in the same place. And almost immediately after I got here, I, I met Pat because he was starting a relationship. And uh, so that was wonderful. But I want to tell a little story. It's kind of a short story. It's uh, about how Pat affected uh, me and my, my pocketbook, and probably John's pocketbook. And I know definitely John's pocketbook too. It was on one of these one of these camping trips. We'd been camping for many times, several years with uh, Hawaii Reservoir, Hell's Canyon, uh, and had a lot of fun with the tents and cooking together on a communal stove and, and such. There was one particular Memorial Day in, in Hell's Canyon, and it tended to be a little wet that, that weekend. Um, and then we thought it would get better, but uh, it actually got wetter, and uh, even wetter. And uh, it got to the point where um, we were in tents, of course, and uh, I was actually having some active water management going on inside the tent in order to keep us, to keep us dry. Um, when we got to the end of the weekend, Pat came up 
and said, this is it, no more tent camping. Next time, we're having hard sides. And she had the audacity to say this in front of my wife and everybody else there too. <laughs> so, as it turns out, every time we've been camping since, we've all had hard sides. <laughs> it's always a, always a warm place to be and a good place to go. But uh, So every time I go camping now, I'll, uh, I'll remember Pat has been the, uh, one of my driving factors in getting that camper started at all. I just love you all so much <laughs> because we all love Pat. I met Pat in about 19, um, 2001, excuse me. She's my mentor. As I started my business, my horse business, I started out knowing absolutely nothing about horses. Instead of laughing at me and saying, you're crazy, <laughs> she took me under her wing and said, come on, let's learn what I know, you know. But she, not only did that, not only shared her knowledge, but she shared her passion and her dreams. Since then, we've been traveling together at Scottsdale to see the Raising Horse Show down there. We, uh, Scottsdale has brings up a really great memory. We were traveling, we were down there looking at all the things for sale in this big place. And she, uh, she was, before technology, she refused to cell phone for a long, many years. And she'd just go wander off. <laughs> like, okay, we have no place we're supposed to meet. There's hundreds of people here. What are you doing? <laughs> back, back. But she'd been, eventually find us and we'd catch up. And she was a great friend in that. Um, we went to Varian Arabians out in California and met a lady who I realized today as I was watching the video of the lady who started Varian Arabians that they were very much alike and that they were, they were go-getters for their dreams. And uh, they knew what they wanted and they went after that. And Pat, that was Pat. He was on a, a trip to Ellis Supreme Arabians in Idaho Falls that I learned of Pat's um, passion for, for geology. And she would tell me all the ways things were formed in the tunnel over, over there. It was, it was great. She loved looking at Pat and playing crosses for horses. And she actually picked out the stallion for one of, for my foundation there. And um, so I did that, and then she ended up buying that horse because she loved it so much, and she loved that cross. And she would sit for hours and go into pedigrees and say, oh, we have this much box, could we have this much? <laughs> Very excitedly. 
We share a lot of the of our uh, dreams. She shared a lot of her dreams. We share a lot of sorrows. I remember the day that she called me after her foundation Mary had died in tears. But she called me to cry with me about it. She met me one time at the vet one night after one I had lost one of my uh, was losing one of my foals. And she met me late at night and she was determined she was gonna be there for me down there. Help me out. And of course, when I lost my foundation mayor recently, she was there to, to comfort me. It's been an honor and a privilege to be with her on this journey. I'm a little envious of the time that the people who knew her longer have had with her. But I'm so thrilled to be part of this family. I feel like I'm part of the family. And she's been part of the Raising Horse community for so many years. She went after every dream she had. She was determined that she was going to have her foundation mayor be an aristocratic mayor, meaning they would be, have uh, four foals that the mayor had had, and had one in their discipline. And she made that happen. It was a dream of hers that the Arabian horse community have the national sport horse uh, event here in Nampa, Idaho. And she, I don't know how much she really had to do with that, but she was certainly there trying, trying at first. And of course, it was a dream that she would have a national champion, and she accomplished that two years ago. And it was a dream of hers to have Sydney be part of her dream. She wanted very much to be there to watch Sydney. And she tried to do hard, but I know she'll be there. She was always there to encourage all of our dreams and go with us. Even though she's always going to be with us.